Hey, Jesus, thank you for the question. Your question is, what is the correct order of creation? Plants, animals, humans, Genesis 1, or man, Garden of Eden, other plants and animals, and woman in Genesis 2? I think that Genesis 1 holds the order of creation the best, and Genesis 2 um, zooms in onto the sixth day. And when he's saying that in Genesis 2 verse 5, Now no shrub had yet appeared on the earth, and no plant had yet sprung up from the Lord God had not set rain on the earth, and there was no one to work the ground. It might be probably a translation issue. Um, it goes on to say, But streams came up from the earth, and the whole earth was watered um, by those streams. Then the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living being. So I think that Genesis chapter 2 verse 5 is talking about rain not being the primary source of plants growing up. It doesn't mean that necessarily that there were no plants, because we know that by the sixth day there were plants um, and seed-bearing fruits and nuts and parsley. Yeah. Uh, and then in 2.8 it says, the, Now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east in Eden, and there he put man he had formed. The Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out of it, trees that were pleasing the eye and good for food. And in the middle of the garden was the tree of life and the knowledge of good and evil. So I think it's a reference to not, not having plants from there being rain. Um, but I know from seminary we learned that the point of Genesis was to keep the whole world from worshiping a sun god and a moon god and a stars god and the wood god and the fire god and deityizing everything that they see uh, just like they did in Egypt um, which Moses wrote this book and he, he came out from Egypt in a large portion of the world was worshiping multiple gods so i think the point is if you're worshiping multiple gods you're wrong you may not be a bad person but you're wrong there's one god that made all of them and then from there he left mostly science um science he is a tool that he gave us to figure out how he created the world and um we are not necessarily supposed to look into it more than that Though I do, you do, we all do. We all look into Genesis and study it as it's a textbook for, for exact science, but it's not. Um, it's, a, it's supposed to be a generality. Um, and the, the main subject, I think, in chapter 2 is about humankind. Um, but it'd be interesting to see if you retranslate chapter 2, verse 5, what you come to. And if it's talking really about rain watering the earth, or if there's something weirder going on, but I'm, I'm guessing not. So anyway, I hope you have a blessed day. God bless you, your wife, and your child.